Hello everybody and a very good afternoon, good morning. Welcome back to Crafters TV. My name's Ben Mosby. Thank you for joining us on this Thursday. Can you believe we're rattling through the week, 2nd of March already, second day of National Craft Month. In case you did not know, we'll be celebrating that all throughout the month, uh, giving you loads of great deals, not only on the shows, but on the web as well. Just a few to tell you about, which you may not already know about, on the website currently to celebrate National Craft Month. 15% off adhesives and tools, 10% off selected embossing folders, 10% off selected dies, and we've also just launched a three for two on selected card and papers. So worth just having a little bit of a, a, little bit of a browse around the website to see all of those deals. Uh, and also, of course, worth bearing in mind that the shop the day button today is your friend because there are so many deals across the day, not least the ones that we've got on Craig's Smackdown cartload, which is officially launching uh, in just under four hours time. You can shop all of the deals there before anybody else. Now, this show, like later on, we're going to be hell for leather. It's going to be two hours of carnage. This, though, is two hours of relaxation, two hours of listening to Craig's dulcet tones and uh, crafting along with a little glass of, I don't know, whatever you, you fancy, um, and just enjoying, and just enjoy, <laughs> just enjoying the show. Now, um, oh, isn't it not George? What, what did George say? I didn't, I didn't hear he what he said. He just says it's iron brew. Ah. I don't always have an iron brew. No. I don't, I don't often see it. He, you normally have an energy drink. Yeah, but I've been, I've been, okay, yeah, maybe one of those ones, yeah. Uh, no, I've been off them for about four weeks now. I know, we were just discussing that we're before, We are just discussing we? that, yeah, I'm being healthy. Yeah. Well, anyway, grab a drink of whatever you fancy, maybe get some little biscuits to have by the side as well. And if you are uh, getting involved in the craft along or crafting along in real time, live with us now, do let us know. Give us a little wave in the comments uh, so that we know that you are. And also, then we can get you to send us your pictures at the end of the craft along so we can see what you've made. As always, uh, if you're not doing this live, you can come back and do it at a later date. And if you haven't yet uh, got the folders, well, hmm. <laughs> we've got we've got one of them still available for you which we'll go into more detail about in just a few moments time and we'll say a few hellos in just a second but let's do the most important hello uh, and say hello to the guy well you've just seen him other side of the studio the man who is going to be uh, taking over the day today and indeed taking this craft along it is the one and only scotty hotty hotty scotty uh, mr craig laird Really looking forward to this craft along when it comes to our texture embossing folders. If you are new to us, I know we get lots of new viewers every single day, every single week, you know, all throughout the year. However, when it comes to the craft along, what we do is when we launch a collection or a product, then what you'll find is round about that four weeks down the line, we will do a craft along revolving around that collection. Now, when it comes to the craft along, it could entail uh, a number of the items within that original collection. And I say that because my one, I'm focusing on the studded leather that came with the original collection. So although it's not available today, you can get your hands on the two remaining ones, but they're all about you getting your hands on the original collections when they launch and then you can craft along. Now for this one I'm only going to use the studded leather. If you did go for that main collection you might want to mix and match. You might want to have the studded leather on one side, maybe you want to have one of the other ones on the back side. That's entirely up to yourself. But what we are going to do is we're going to create this uh, four by six notelet set here. Now with this one here what we're going to do is we're going to open it up and then inside that Ooh. we've got our little notelet section. So on one side, we've got our envelopes that I'll show you how you can create. And then what we've also got is our little notelets to go in. So I will show you, this is going, I've got five in here, five envelopes card blank. It will actually hold more. I just mm. say five because it's a good number to have inside. I will show you how to make one envelope. Then later on today in your own time, you can make the other four. And then the same with the actual card blanks. I will show you how to make one of them and then you can make the other four later on or you can do more as well if you want. All of that studded detail in the middle there, you will probably have to do that after the craft along as well because we won't have time to do all of that. But we will make sure that we make the whole notelet set 
front and back with the envelopes and of course the cards then we've got our little latch there we are using a hook and loop you might want to use a magnetic dot if you want to or some other form of a way to actually attach it but that's what we're going to be making within the craft along the instructions are on my Facebook page if you wanted to go across and follow from them as well. You can print them out if you want to. Uh, excellent stuff. And of course, uh, if you are crafting along with us, you may want to know what you need to use. By the way, lovely Elaine. Uh, Elaine Cirillo is with us saying, I'm going to craft along. Uh, let's see what happens. Well, let's see what you need, mm -hmm. first of all, in case you didn't know. What do we need, Mr. Craig? What do we need? Well, I'm going to tell you exactly what you're going to need. If you want to make exactly how I'm making mine, you're going to need the studded leather 5x7 texture embossing folder. Just to say you're amazing, Ben. Oh, sorry, that's just to say you're amazing. Oh. Word cut in, stamp and die. 20 22 hello advent calendar die hello 12, 12 by 12 luxury mixed cardstock pastel you're also then going to need your kindly thoughts a4 luxury pearlescent card yeah centura Pearl, snow white with a hint of silver a3 or that could be your white multi-purpose a3 if you want santa's kitchen 12 by 12 paper pad so we're going back a couple of years with this one Everyday Delights 8x8 eight eight paper pad and Everyday Delights Solid 8x8 eight eight card pad. You're also going to need one of your Violet Studios or one of your other crafters companion wax seals. Then, additional items that you're going to need is your Gemini die cutting machine. I'm going to use the Junior. You can use any of them if you want to. Score Master, Emblem Box Create our Large Guillotine, Pokey Tool, Tape Pen, Tacky Glue, Red Liner Tape, round about 6mm, don't worry if it's not, you can use your finer one if you wish. I'm going to use Hook and Loop, and then you can also <laughs> add some of your gems <laughs> or pearls as well if you so wish. That's an optional for yourself, but that's everything that you're going to need. They are also on that written instructions <clears throat> that I posted on my Facebook as well, if you want to see them there. Marvellous. We'll give you a little bit of time to get those all together. Let's say a few more hellos as well. Uh, we have got on the socials, uh, Radical Rachel actually, once again. Um, Gareth Dobbs is in saying, uh, hello everyone. I hope it's a lovely day for everyone. It is for me. Now work is done. I can enjoy my birthday. Yay. Happy birthday, Gareth. Hopefully you have a great day. Um, Gareth, of course, in our um, Crafty Guys Club, isn't he? Mm -hmm. Which you're yes. the president of. Do you know I'm now the chairman of that club? You're the chairman. I was here, yeah. I'm the president. I'm chairman. And you're chairman. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So I'm like, I'm like, oh, I don't know. I, I, I don't know how it works in wrestling terms now. Now that Vince, well, Vince McMahon isn't quite. I'm above you, aren't I? Is chairman or is president bigger than chairman? President's bigger than chairman, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, pres oh, yeah okay. president and chair. Right. Well, no, chairman of the board. Yeah. That's the big S, is it not? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It's not a competition, is it? Anyway, it's a bit of fun. Can what? Can Liam join uh, Gareth? Because he's, he's obviously crafting as well. So let us know, Gareth, if he's allowed to join. Um, not Johnny and George, though. You don't want them in there. You do not want them in there. They can be the bouncers for the, the craft the bouncers. Club. Yeah. Uh, Karen's in from Kentucky. Sharon's in from Maryland. Lois is in from Ohio. Hello, Lynn. Uh, the hashtag go live granny says morning from a sunny Isle of Wight. And once again from my craft room, Stephanie's in. Deborah O'Brien is in from Wisconsin. Fear's in saying hey, 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 hey. Uh, Dawn is in from New Jersey. New Jersey. Uh, and Terry Anderson is also in saying, I'm just watching for the fun. Um, I already made this for my sister from when Craig first made it. I used the Angel Collection. Uh, and Alison Ma, Alison in Aberdeenshire. Oh. Uh, so looking forward to the show and also the lovely guest. Lovely guest, you say? Lovely guest? Uh, I mean, he's not too bad. Let's go across the pond over to uh, upstate New... I can't do the accent. New York and yeah. say hello to the one you all know as uh, the queen of paper pads. She's got a crown on for us this afternoon. It's the lovely Christine Mahoney. How are you? Hi, good. How are you? Oh, really good. Absolutely uh, marvellous. Looking forward to the, uh, the show today. And as we were just discussing off air a few moments ago, I mean, I, I, got, I got a lot of love for you, Christine, but can you stop beating me at, uh, <laughs> at online Scrabble, please? I mean, are you even trying, Ben? <laughs> oh, it's fighting talk. Unbelievable. I used to think I was quite good at that until I played you, and then now you're coming out with all of these like amazing words that I've never even heard of. I mean, some of them I haven't heard of. You just keep trying until you get something. <laughs> That's exactly <laughs> or right. Or I really know all those words, 
<laughs> well, it's, it's, it's fun to do. It's fun to uh, have a bit of a, a scrabble off with you after work. And there's a few others of you that I'm playing as well. So um, I don't know how you found me on there, but if anyone else wants to play Scrabble, I'm there. Anyway, we're not here to talk about Scrabble. We are here to uh, craft along. Oh, yes, got your hand up. Are you doing any better with them? Uh, <laughs> yes, of course. This is outrageous, isn't it? Can we get another guest? Is there anyone else, anyone else available? Um, are, you, are you looking forward to the uh, looking forward to the craft along? Oh, very much. It's a great project. Yeah, it kind of reminds me, Craig, a little bit of like the 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 really kind of posh sort of um, stationery holders that you get in like the expensive mm -hmm. hotels. Yeah. Yeah, you could do that and then sell them if you want to. Make them in batches and then go to the big luxury hotels and just say, would you like to buy some of these to put in your hotel room? Nice. Nice one. Mm, good idea. Um, well, listen, uh, Christine, have you got all the bits and pieces and you're ready to go? I am ready. Yes, I am. Excellent stuff. <laughs> right. Well, um, what, just before we get going, uh, let me just show you. We, we, I can offer you one. I can offer you one folder uh, because all the others are disappeared. Well, I say all the others. The leaves that we had, there are two left. Um, but this is the one that we have left as far as it, well, a bit more stock is concerned. The 5x7 um, leopard print, which is £3.19 or $4.76. Next two people to check out the leaves uh, will get those as well. Um, Clarice is saying, can't craft along, getting ready for work, but I'll be watching whilst getting ready. Gareth says, Liam is more than welcome. Uh, to join the uh, club, uh, and Dawn says, "Ben, who schooled you on your new on your jerseyisms?" Uh, I was just making it up. Joyzy myself. What? Joyzy. 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 Noi jo noi joyzy. <laughs> joyzy. <laughs> Christine's shaking her head. Let's move on. Uh, right, are we ready to go? Are you ready at home? Yes, Christine is ready. Uh, Johnny and George, are you ready? They're ready. Uh, I'm ready. I, I'd kick back, relax, and watch you guys get at it. Uh, let's, let's get, get ready, ready to, to craft, craft on. on. Right, doing, mister? Let's do it. Let's start with the envelopes that are going inside. So we're taking two of our pastel card stocks. So we've got our pastel card stock. This is where I've taken them from. The pastel, 24 sheets here in total you're getting, but that is the one that I'm using. You can use the blue linen if you want, but I'm using the actual pearlescent. So what we're then going to do from both of these ones, we're going to cut to eight and three quarters by eight and three quarters. Uh -huh. So we're just going to go all the way up to eight and three quarters. And then we're going to do that on the other way. So eight and three quarters. Then what I'm going to do is we're going to do exactly the same with the other sheet. So eight and three quarters by eight and three quarters. And then I'm just going to set them at the side because we can use them again elsewhere for decoration. So that's us now got our two blue pearlescent panels that are cut to eight and three quarters by eight and three quarters. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take our envelope box creator and then what we've got is we've got our cardstock. I'm going to go in with my ball tool here. And then what we want to do, so we're going to do it with both of these ones here. We're going to do our card. So we're going to go in to position one here. So we're going to pop that up into position one. We're going to then, of course, just go right to the top here. And then what I'm going to do is we're going to score at positions E and I. So we're in number one, and then we're going to score at E. And because we want that bit of depth, because we are going to be using the card blanks and envelopes, I'm going to lift it up, and then I'm going to come into position two. And then I'm going to do the same again into uh -huh. position E. This is going to give me my half inch when it comes to the depth. So flip it completely on itself. So that was the side we've done there. So completely on itself, we're going up into position one of our envelope box creator. And then once again, we're going to score at E. So lightly and a few times, lift and into two, and then score once again. And then for turn them on its side, we're going to do exactly the same. However, when it comes to this side, we're going to score at the line I. So what we can then do, pop that in once again to number one, and then I'm going to score at I, and follow all the way down, lift up into position two, 
and then we're going to do that once again, score at position I, and then flip it over, and we do that exactly the same. So into position one and score at the letter I, and then we're going to lift it up, and then we're going to go into position I again. So that's now given me uh, an envelope box that is four by six, but what I've got is half an inch in depth all the way round. So before I score that other one, that was two sheets of the pastel blue mm -hmm. that I've cut to eight and three quarters by eight and three quarters. And then we're going to go in to position one and we're going to score at I all the way down, lift up and into position two. And then we're going to score at I again. So we're going to do that on the opposite side. So let's flip that over, and we're doing, um, did I do I or E there? Let me have a look, I can't remember now. So we, yes, I did do I, didn't I? So there we go, opposite side, into I, lift up to position two, and then into I. And then what we can do on these two, across from each other, these are going to be E. Position one, score at E, lift up into position two, and then into E. So what we can then do is just repeat that once again, uh -huh. into position, and then we're going to go E, and then we're going to lift, and we're going to go into E once again. So then that is all our score lines done for our two four by six envelopes. Perfect. So two pieces that are eight and three quarters by eight and three quarters. It was our pastel blue. And then what we've done is we've taken each of these and we've used line L and E and also position one and two, which gives us that half inch depth. And then what I'm going to do here is if you take a pencil and a ruler, I'm going to use the glass mat. So we're wanting to chop off three quarters of an inch at the point of the envelope. Now, what we're going to do is my envelope, instead of an envelope going that traditional way, I'm doing it so that the tab is at the top. So have a look at your top piece. And then what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to use my glass mat. Now these grids, these are all a quarter of an inch increments, Ben. Okay. So all that I'm going to do is I'm going to put that into one corner here, and then I'm going to come in three quarter of an inch and do a little mark. And I'm going to do the same there. Quarter of an inch, half an inch, three quarter of an inch. And then I'm going to do a little mark there. Yeah. So if I bring that in, you see the two pencil marks. Mm -hmm. Then what you can do is either using your scissors, or if you want to keep it crisp and clean, we're going to go in with a guillotine. And what we're going to do is we're just going to cut from point to point. So I'm going to add that in. And then what I'm going to do is add the guillotine. I'm going to cut. I'm just going to do a little slither there cutting off that point. So it's the easiest way to do that when it comes to three quarters of an inch. I'm going to do that again just to show you on this one as well. So once again, we're going to have it so the envelope is tall. So at the top here, I'm just going to come into any 90 degree angle and then I'm going to go quarter of an inch, half an inch, three quarter of an inch and do a little pencil mark mm -hmm. and same. Quarter of an inch, half an inch, three quarters of an inch and a little pencil mark. And then I'll show you this time simply to use the scissors if you prefer. And again, all you're doing, Ben, is you're joining that pencil dot to your pencil top, snipping it off, and you've now got that nice flush edge. Perfect. It is important you've got that because when we come to attach that wax seal, because we'll attach our wax seal, that adhesive will stop that point from falling in. So we need that flush edge that's just going to lock in at position which will all become a lot more clearer later on. So I think once again, just one last time, let's just go over all of these. So both squares here were eight and three quarters by eight and three quarters. And then what I've done is, as I've gone in, and I've gone in and scored at position I at one and two, and E at one and two, and I've done exactly the same for the opposite. And then on two of the top tabs here, I've done a little pencil line at three quarter of an inch inwards, and then just chop that off. What I can then do is for this one here, now we want the bottom to be tabs, these can be cut away. So where you've got that flat edge, 
all that I'm going to do, Ben, is in with my scissors, mm -hmm. and I'm just going to chop that out at a 90 degree angle. Okay. And then we can do the same here. So cut in, and then cut in. Let's do this one while we're at it. So we're going to go in, cut in. So that complete triangle that you will see, you're going to cut it out. So cut down and then cut down. And then once you've got those two there, what we're wanting to do is we're wanting to create the tabs. Because it is a box, an envelope box, we need a tab to hold it together. So what I am going to do, you don't need to do this. I'm going to do this so that you can see the easiest way to do this. So what you want to do is we want to cut out that little triangle. And then when it comes to this one, we want to cut out that triangle. But what we want to do, Ben, is extend that line all the way across. OK. So what I mean by that is let's chop that one out. Yeah. And chop that one out. Now let's chop that one out. And then let's chop that one out. But at this stage, can you see that that's still attached to that yeah. bottom panel there? So what we need to do is release that. So if we cut in, we've now got our own little tab that we Flappy can start flap. to form inwards. Mm. So we're going to do that with all of them. So let's just do that again, just so you can see. So small triangle, we're going to cut. Small triangle, we're going to cut. But what we're also going to do is just extend that line. So we're going in and then cut. And don't worry, as I say, you, know, you won't need to do that pen line or yeah. pencil line. If you do, don't worry about it being seen because that's going to be folded inwards, yeah. so no one will see it. So the two little tabs, let's just finish that one off. And then what we've got is we've now got our tabs that we can start to form our envelope box. Okay. So I'm just going to fold by hand to start with. Of course, we still need to cr create the tabs from that other one. Yeah. But I really want to do this bit here, just so that you can see where we're going with of the tabs. So if you got your little tool set within Wake Up Call, you'll be able to use the tools there to yep. burnish. But then what I'm <clears> going to do is set that one to the side now. If I fold that one in, you'll get a little bit of an idea as to where we're going with this. So you can see how that's then going to Lovely. snugly create your box. Mm -hmm. And then let's just do that again here. So little triangle, cut out. Yeah. Little triangle, cut out. And then what we're going to do is just extend that all the way down. Just a question whilst you're doing that. Laura says, which board is better to have, the enveloper box or the, envel or the enveloper? So the enveloper box creator or the enveloper? Like so I'm using the enveloper creator. Yeah. So I'm using that one. OK. As long as, as, whatever one you're using, as long as your measurements are going to fit your 4 by 6 card blank within half inch depth. Just mm -hmm. follow the instructions from whichever one you've got. But mine says the creator that I'm using. OK. And then once again, we're just going to fold and burnish all of these all the way around. I would always recommend you burnish all your cardstock, but certainly your Centura Peril. Yeah. It's an, uh, for me, it's an absolute must to do that because it just, really finishes it off. Just a note as well, our Rachel says she's just added the link uh, to your written instructions oh, in perfect. the comments thank as you, well. Rachel. So thank you, Rachel. So if you, if you do want to um, see those, you can't find the, the, the initial uh, post, you just follow the link. Yeah. Uh, Rachel's put it there for you. So. Well, that'd be dead good, dead handy. So thank you for that. And then I think what we'll do, Ben, is we'll attach these bits together and then take a little bit of a break. Yeah. Yeah. So all that we need to do here is if we open it up. So this is how it's going to form on the inside. But what I'm going to do is turn it over on itself. And then I'm going to go in with, I didn't extend that cut there. I'm going to go in with my tape runner. So if I bring mine in, that is the dotty one. And so is that, let's use, let's just use a new one here. And then we're going to create that tab at the base. So our adhesive on the base and the adhesive on the base here. And then what we're going to do is that starts to form into here. We're just going to cross that in as if you are making a box base yeah. or a box lid. We're going to pull that together 
and form it together. And that's going to fit the five uh, envelopes, is it? It is, yeah. Yeah. yeah more, I'll actually I'll hold a few more than yeah. the five, yeah. It will. So that's that one. And then what I'm going to do is you can see how you can start to fold it in here. We're going to cover this, so don't worry about it being uh, overlapping from the left or the right or from the bottom. So as I say, it's going to be covered. So what I'm going to do is let's add our adhesive on here. And then what I also need to do is add a little piece here. Okay. So if I then bring that in now, this is when I like to use my glass mat bend just to marry up so it's at 90 degrees. And then if I go in, press that one in, and then I'm going to cro close that over and do that once again. So marrying up, making sure it's round about your 90 degree angle. And then if we just need to, I just need to add that little bit on into here. Add that in, like so. And then once you're happy, I'm pressing that in. And then what I am going to do, so if I take a ruler or something along those lines, and to make it easier for my hands, I'm just going to pop my ruler in. I'm just going to press down, and I'm just going to burnish those joints together. Mm -hmm. So let's do that. And then you've then got your four by six envelope with that top fold at the top, at the top, at the top with the tab. Top of the tab. And then we can do exactly the same with this one here. We're going to go ahead and add our adhesive onto the two tabs. I like to do this to start with. So let's add, fold that in, and then connect that one together at 90 degrees. With it using your tape runner, that's going to be really, really strong. And we can add that one in, press that in for a few seconds. And then what we can do is we can go in, I'm going to add some of my adhesive here. And then we can then marry that up so we can get as close to that 90 degree as possible and then this one add our adhesive all the way down i'm going to add a little bit into that central piece where we cross over press that in and then we're going to go back in with our ruler just to press that in and that is all i'm going to do just for the moment or two while you all catch up for anyone that needs to get caught up. Brilliant. And as always, if you do need anything repeated or um, you've got any questions like Laura had, do fire them in because that's what these craft alongs are all about. That's why it's an award winning show because obviously you can interact with us, we can interact with you and um, help you get the very best out of the show and out of your particular project that you're making. Uh, Stephanie Theodos is just saying, I've saved the show. Always good to do. Uh, and Terry says, corner rounder would be fabulous for the envelope tip. Wink, wink. Um, and Dawn's saying, obviously we were talking about New Jersey earlier on. Oh yeah. Uh, uh, well, Clary says, I'm originally from Jersey and I've never met anyone who pronounced it that way. And Dawn says, good thing I adore you guys, or this, and she spelt it this way, or this Joyzy girl would have to call Uncle Vito to come visit you both across the pond. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. We'll, Trouble. We'll, beha we'll behave now, we'll behave. <coughs> Uh, let us let us uh, go and uh, have a look and see how Christine is getting on. Uh, I can see Christine in my monitor, and she, she, you look very calm and collected, and like you're up to speed with everything. Yeah, I'm doing great. <laughs> Good to know. As this always, little, I don't. I'll have to make another one. Of Say again. I said for some reason this is a longer, wider than this side. I don't know why. Hey. <laughs> It's quirky, we'll call it that. Uh, whilst you have been um, crafting, a few people, again, as always the case whenever you're on with us, have been admiring your <laughs> craft room. Uh, Anne is just saying, uh, I can't help but look at all that paper around Christine. I mean, look at that. Th this is your craft room, isn't it? You're not in a shop. No, it's my room. Look at that. <laughs> oh. Look at all the, yeah, the sub boxes, craft kits, paper pads. <laughs> It's incredible the amount of goodies you've got there. And you've been quite busy recently as well, haven't you? Oh, hello. Uh, you've been busy recently, haven't you? Because I've seen you, because you do a lot of painting as well, Christine, don't you? And, t and teaching. Yeah, I've had a lot of painting classes. <laughs> yeah, I saw your owl master class, I think it was, uh, the other day. Was that a hoot? That <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> I had an I had owl of a time. <laughs> oh, hey, there we 
go. We'll take that one. We'll take that one. Uh, well, glad that you're up to speed with us and you're having a, uh, a great time. As always, if you um, at home have got any questions or comments, like we said, you can, of course, uh, get in touch and fire those our way. Uh, if you want ink pads, we have got them available for you. Yes, the Floral Water Reactive ink pads. Uh, this is the bundle that we had on the other day that we brought back at the same price. Limited stock on this as well. Uh, there's green on the screen, which means... Soon won't be seen! Yeah, so you've got um, 11 different colours there, including Midnight. You've got the uh, parakeet in there. You've got fuchsia. You've got that gorgeous Chinese red. Smoke Can you go pearl, back? Straw bale, Bordeaux. What's that? Can you go back? What, where do you want me to go back to? The fuchsia. Oh, back to the fuchsia. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, but uh, <laughs> if, if I don't do it, you do it. Uh, but a lovely collection of ink pads at 11 with a saving of 21.89 or 32.45. Uh, platinum price is 35. 20 or uh, 5280. Thank you, Rachel, who said no questions yet, which I always think means that Craig is doing a good job. I mean, he always does a good job, but uh, of course, uh, great job Craig's doing. Uh, Maggie's just saying, I'm loving Christine's tiara, um, which is always, always something that she wears because, of course, she's the queen of the paper pads, as we know. Um, yeah, we're doing all good. Uh, Craig is obviously meaning business because he's taken his jacket off mm -hmm. and he's uh, stripped warm. down to his hoodie. It's rather warm, yeah. yeah. A lot of, uh, Johnny was just saying there as well, a lot, a lot of compliments lately on my uh, attire that I've been wearing. I'm liking that casual hoodie look with the dress. A lot of people saying, looking very mm. swift, Craig. Oh, so hoodie with the jacket on the top? Yeah. Yeah, okay. hoodie with a jacket. So you know, may have seen me in the past with a fuchsia jumper, maybe with, with the, the green jumper? Jump, fuchsia jumper. Oh, you're going back to that one, I've gone back to that one, back to the fuchsia jumper. Or the green one, or I had a bright oh, yellow one yesterday. Yeah. Do, 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 I put it back on just to show a point. That's just like in a case, proper DJ jacket, that is. In case any big bosses are watching and thinking, how's our member of staff on TV with a hoodie jumper? Maybe you're smart cash. Uh, well, that's what it is. That's what it is, smart cash. And I've had a lot of compliments over the last week or so as well. So yeah, uh, I've got a different colour jacket. Um, I'm, I'm, going to, I'm going to tell you as well, I bought a new dress jacket. New dress? A new dress jacket. Oh, right. And I just, I don't know the colour to go with it in the cash. So you can let us know in the comments as well throughout the craft along. It is a baby blue do, 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 do. dress jacket. Oh. Um, baby blue. Now, of course, if you go into Pinterest or that, all the guys are wearing a white shirt. Now, yeah. I don't want to do a white shirt. I want something bright. I just can't work out what would work with a baby blue when it comes to brightness. So whether it's a lilac or a purple or a green or a yellow, whatever it is. Oh, that is yellow it. would be nice. Yeah, yeah like, like, a, like a light yellow with the baby blue. Do, 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 do. Is that nice? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. could do. I think I've got a pastel, I do, I've got a pastel yellow mm -hmm. uh, polo shirt. Why not white, did you say? Why, well, it's because it's if I get too hot, then it'll be like John Cena and it'll be like, you can't see me. <laughs> no, but you, but then you could have like a nice colourful. T you could have like the white shirt and then add a splash of colour with either like a bow, like a bow tie would be nice with that kind of jacket. It'll just be like a floating bow tie. You know when Adam done that green, green screen thing. Yeah. In your video. Oh yes. It'd just be like that. No, I think. Yeah. Uh, I think white shirt with a nice splash of colour in the form of a tie or bow tie. If, yeah. any, if we've got any fashion experts um, watching, maybe got yeah. Wan's watching. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe. Uh, Borrow uh, Uncle T's phone number from Sarah and give Tuka a call. Well, why not? Mm. Tuka would Tuka would probably know. Yeah. Um, Tuka can play that game. But anyway, uh, look, loving your look, Craig says Anne. Uh, I've commented that you were styling. He's uh, styling yes, and yeah, yeah. And profiling, a styling and profiling. That's yeah. what you do, isn't it? Anyway, uh, I've ordered the floral water reactive a little bit ago, says Stephanie. I cannot wait to get them. And Dawn says, uh, that is a great shade of blue on you, Craig. He, he, he does suit that, that, that blue, actually. Blue. Blue. Yeah. yeah, thank you, yeah. Very nice. I'm it. Because I do have dress trousers, by the way, as huh? well. Dress trousers. Oh, yeah, what a weird combo. So you've got dress trousers and a hoodie. Yeah. I mean, but you are setting new fashion trends today. I am getting on with my craft along, don't worry. But you don't, you know, <laughs> it works though, doesn't it? It, it kind of does work. No, it does, there's no kind about it. And with the, with the trainers as well, get your foot up. Go on. <laughs> don't rip your trousers out. <laughs> <laughs> Very yeah, good. I've got, my, I've got my friend socks on as well. Yeah. 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 So, uh, so yeah. 
Go on, um, go on with that cash dress sort of look. You guys are liking, so if you like it, that is the main thing. And do you know something, joking aside, I do feel good when I'm in it. You know, when, yeah. you, when you, you, you dress good and you feel good. Mm. Um, so, yeah, that's all that matters. You look great, but in my eyes, you always look great. Oh, bless you. You need glasses. Well, we'll carry on then and yes. have a look. Yeah, let's do it. Uh, what was that colour? Mm. Darker teal. Oh, yeah. Or wear a pink shirt or the blue hoodie you have on. That would probably match this, Karen. I did think of that, yeah. I did think the br blight, bright blue with the baby blue. And uh, Rachel just said, I need sunglasses yesterday after that yellow hoodie. Yeah, well, it was good, though, because we were in our other studio, which is a bit like, whoa, anyway, with the white lights. Mm. And, um, yeah, at least I had the yellow jumper on. Yeah. Anyway, from anyway, uh, there you fashion go. advice to craft advice. There you go, you're going to see me on this morning soon, all about my fashion advice for guys. Uh, it is stylish, John, oh, isn't it? I told you. <laughs> told you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Getting down with the kids, me and the styles. Right, yo, let's, uh, let's, let's crack on. Now, I've just noticed my instruction says take your A5 Centura apparel and cut two. That should be your A3, that should be. But, of course, I had the A3 in that instruction, so you'll have it anyway. So what we are going to do is let's take our A3 Centura apparel. And then what we're going to do is we're going to then come along... Uh, and okay. Apparently, the fashion that you're now uh, peddling is to do with the guy from Fifty, Se Fifty Shades of Grey, Jamie Dornan. Oh yeah. Uh, apparently, he started the old suit jacket with the the hoodie look. Ah. Uh, Fifty Shades of Grey. Yeah, I thought that's okay. that's what it is. Apparently. Oh. I can't. I can't. Uh, I can't picture the guy myself. But uh, no, I can't picture the film. No. You can't picture the film. No. Oh. I'm not talking about that film. It's a bit Rudy Doody, Craig. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Christine! He's doing a... Christine's going like this. Indiana uh, Jones. Indiana Jones. <laughs> oh, my God. He had a whip, didn't he? Indiana Jones. Yeah, I was doing a bit of horse riding and wake-up call. <laughs> you were. The whip was out. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> anyway, craft along. Back to the craft along. It's a serious show. Dear, oh dear. Right, it's a serious show, and it is an award-winning show. It was show. award-winning. <laughs> it was, yeah. I've dulled the tones, haven't I? <laughs> so, let's take our A3 cardstock. So we're going to go in with our A3 cardstock, and we are going to, of course, then cut it to... Now, this is where I need to use my glass mat, because, of course, if I just move... Actually, we're all right there, George. What I'm doing is I've gone right down into the bottom corner here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a mark at 12 and 3 quarters. You've, to you've totally thrown it. You can do this on the guillotine. Uh -huh. You've totally thrown me. Oh, well, you started it. I know, you I know. It's talking about your fashion. It's I'm my own self to blame. You've got your own yourself to blame. That's it. So take your A3 Centura Pearl cardstock and you're going to go up to 12 and 3 quarters. No, you're not. Twelve and a quarter. Oh, my gosh, it was going so well. Twelve and a quarter inches, and then we're going to cut. So we're going to cut down, and then that will fit in your guillotine down the side. So then we're going to run that one up to seven and a half. OK. So seven and a half. So I'll go over that one again. So you're going to go all the way along lengthways to 12 and a quarter inches and then turn it around and then you are then going to be cutting it at seven and a half inches. So that is then what's going to be the wrap around the notelets. So then what we can do is we can take our score master or whatever scoreboard that you've got and we're going to go up to the box lid side. Now, although we're not making a box as such, this is the true measurement side, as you'll know when you make yeah. your boxes. So what we're going to do, short edge up to the box lid, and then we're going to come along and we're going to score at five and a half, so lightly in a few times, and then we're going to score in at six and three quarters. So we're going to then score. So once again, short edge up against the box lid side. We are scoring at five and a half and then six and three quarters. What we can then do is we can then fold and burnish that. 
And then as you fold and burnish it, you will see that you've now got, from up above, the wrap that will go around your notelet set. You can see there. So that's how simple it is to create that outer wrap. So we'll have our two envelopes and then we'll also have our wrap. So let's have a look at the little latch just now that we're going to create. So this is where I've taken it from the actual pearlescent card. So this is your Nitwit kind, Kindly Thoughts. Uh -huh. So I'm going to use one of that deep teal. And then when it comes to the pattern, this is where I'm going to use the little polka dots, which was from the Everyday Delights. So what we can then do... That year of craft, is it? Year of craft, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then we're going to go in with the Everyday Delight solid. So that's what we're going to be using. So let's set that one to the side for now. Let's come back in with our guillotine. So we're going to go in with our patterned paper. So we're going to go in and cut this one. So we're going to cut this one to three and three quarters. And then we're going to turn it around. Now, we are going to cut it at three quarters of an inch. Now, if you have difficulty, then, of course, getting that grip up at the top, what to do is come along. Now, come along to that nearest quarter of an inch. So, whatever that one is. So, I'm going to trim that excess off. So, I'm there at seven and three quarters. So, because, Ben, because I want three quarter of an inch, I'm going to come down a quarter, come down half an inch and come down three quarters and cut and that's now given me yeah. my three quarters of an sense. inch so we've done it that way so that is your pattern paper and then what we're going to do is we're going to take the dark piece of your pearlescent cardstock from the knitwit and this time what we're going to do is we're going to cut this one to one inch yeah now you might find that a little bit easier by going in you've got that one inch so it is easier, so let's go in and cut, and then we can turn that one around to four inches, and then we're going to cut. So then that's now given me my two tabs, like so, which will then mat and layer. Yeah. What have I, why have I got that? I know why I've got that. So what we've just done there, because I made it, and then I've done a little bit of adapting, okay. because this strip here, was that. Now, although I've got all the polka dots, it just didn't look right, Ben. You had this little bit of patterned paper, and then you had a lovely mustard. Mm. So I changed, and I've not written it on my instructions. So we'll cover that now. So we don't actually need that bit. What we've done with that, we want it in that colour instead. OK. So that is the only difference. So you can still use the pattern if you want to. I personally just did not think, I didn't think, if we, yeah. if we ignore that little matte and layer of the mustard, mm. I just didn't think that that polka dot looked right. I think that looks better than that polka dot. So that's why I changed it, and I've just not done it on the instructions. So let's cover that one again. So remember, we were saying there with the pattern paper, we're going to cut it to three and three quarters. And of course, we need that three quarters of an inch. So let's come down. That's actually bang on eight inches. So let's come down quarter of an inch, half an inch, and then three quarter of an inch and cut. That is what we want. Uh -huh. And then there we go. That's my perfect yeah, matte lovely. layers for, of course, Lovely, the that mustard colour, isn't it? And, and that's it. And mm. that's why, again, for my eye, it just didn't look pleasing, Ben. It, it didn't flow. Some, we do try and have the inner to flow with the outer, but that one bit of pattern as that wrap, it didn't work. So if I brought that mustard from the just to say in with the latch, that was it. It was like, that's what we need to do. Yeah. So what I am going to do, I'm going to put a mark next to my instructions, so I can then come along later on. I will change that on the instructions I've got on Facebook, and then if you want to come along and reprint it so you don't have to adapt it, I will do that for you. So we've got that one now. So what we want to do is we want to stick these ones together. I'm going to be using my tacky glue because we're going to do a little bit of manipulation because what we want to do is we want to create that wrap round. Okay. However, it's cardstock. So if you just go over it and straight bend over, you're going to crack it. 
So we need to do that little bit of manipulation. And I just feel that the strength that the tacky glue gives you works best. So I'm kind of blocked up slightly. So let's come back in. I'll sort that later. And then I'm going to come in with a little bit. So let's just go in with a tiny, tiny little bit. If you do want to get those little fine applicators, I've got them in my uh, Smackdown bag on cartload. Let's just twist that one. Yes, Smackdown bag. Smackdown bag. Smackdown deals. Uh, so let's get that one. For, why is that not flowing? You can check all the deals out there on the go. website. They're there now. The Smackdown bags and let's get ready to rumble deals, isn't there? It's going to be uh, off the chart tonight. Isn't it just? Isn't it, eh? It's going to be like good. a crafter mania. Crafter mania. Well, WrestleMania is just round the corner. Oh, yes. It's just and round the corner, crafter mania. Yeah, and of course, all the Craig, Craig and Maniacs will be watching tonight. Yeah. What if Christine's a Craig and Maniac? You need to get a t shirt that says Craig yeah. and Maniacs. Oh, she's the number one. She's Craig number one. Maniac. She's well and truly number one at the top of my Craig and Maniac. Or she's saying the only one. The only, or the only, <laughs> probably the only one. Do you know what? Even if, I would be more than delighted if Christine was my only Craigomaniac. However, I, 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 I know there'll be many that would love to be a Craigomaniac as well. I, I want to be a Craigomaniac. Yeah, you, yeah. You, 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 yeah, that's a given. Yeah. That is a given. Of course. You'll always be Craigomaniac. Well, that's two we've got now. Two, here you go. <clears throat> right. Oh, George, the George, I was waiting on George with the joystick. Yeah. yeah. I think you should get some um, T-shirts done, like because the Hulk be used to have the red, the red T-shirts, didn't he, with the yellow yeah. writing on with Hulkamania. That would be good. I'd buy one. Would you? Yeah. I'm a, I'm a Craigomaniac. Craigomaniac. Yeah. What I'm you gonna craft, yeah. brother? Craigomaniac, maniac. Oh, sure. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what was that? That's in the music video, isn't it? The maniac, uh, maniac. <laughs> oh. For, tw for, for 20 points, can you tell me who sang that song? Oh, no one will get that. No, no I one get will that. get that. He's a maniac, maniac. Well, that's maniac, yeah. Michael Sembello. Oh, what oh. an answer that is. No, nobody. Nope. Christine's shaking her head. No. So all that I was doing there was manipulating that round, my score tool there, so you can see we've got more of that fold. So you can see then that's where you're going to get that ease of wrap round. So we've got that one now, so we can set that to the side. So two envelopes, we've got a wrap round, and then we've got our little latch as well. So then what we're going to do is let's come back in with our guillotine. Now we're going to go in and we're going to decorate the insides now for our notelets. Yep. So we're going to go back in, we're going to take our dark pearlescent card. I'm going to take a couple of sheets here. I think I'll just need one just now, but we're going to take the dark pearlescent. And we need two of these now. So we're going to cut these ones to five by seven. So we're going to go five by seven. And then we're going to go five by seven. But then what we also need is we also need one that is seven inches by three quarter of an inch. Uh -huh. Now, what I'm going to do is, you can do what I've done before about measuring from one end and getting that three quarter of an inch. Where we've got that one inch line on our guillotine bend, where the lines end, that is your three quarters of an inch. So all that I'm going to do is I'm going to feed that up to where those lines end. I know it's a bit harder to see. Where the metal begins, you say, or where so, the... no, so there's where the metal begins. Yeah. So you can see where the metal begins just there. Yeah. So if we go to where those channels end. Ah, uh, okay. If we then... Oh, mind your hand. So we've got, there is oh. one inch. So we've got, there we go, there's one inch. So if I go at the end of those channels there, yeah. that's your three quarters of an inch. Right. So that's what I'm going to do. So let's just pop them back in. So let's put that up to the edge. And then we're going to cut. And then we're going to turn that one around. And then we're going to go to seven inches. Seven inches because my panels are. So two of these are five by seven. And then you've got one of these ones here, which is one inch. No, it's not. That one there. Oh, done them the wrong way around. Right. Bear with. Bear with here. So 
take your dark... No, I have done it right. So it's one by... Are you confusing yourself with your instructions? I think... You... Yeah, then pattern, paper... <laughs> Christina probably, no? <laughs> got right, yeah, right. I've, I've got them the other way round. That, oh, okay. that should have been the pattern paper. So here we go. So what we're then going to do is let's take our, start again, let's take our dark pearlescent cardstock here. I'm going to take a new sheet for this one. So we're going to cut two of these by five and a quarter, by seven and a quarter. And then we're going to do the other one, five and a quarter, by seven and a quarter. So there we go. We're on track now. Gotcha. And then what we we'll also need is let's just go back the way that I showed you before. This time, that strip, that actually needs to be one inch by seven and a quarter. Mm -hmm. So let's go in. So let's just cut straight from that one inch mark. So up to the one inch. And then that can then be seven and a quarter. So let's bring that one in now because these two here ah. are five. Yeah, see what see what I get. Mm. So the measurements that I just done there, they're slightly smaller. That's going to be my mat and my, my pattern paper. Yeah. So these two are five and a quarter by seven and a quarter for these two. And then that one there is one inch by seven and a quarter. So let's set that one there, bring in the guillotine. Let's bring in our pattern paper and let's do the measurement that we'd done before. Gotcha. So let's go five and a quarter at uh, five inches by seven. And then you'll see you've got your perfect mat and layer. Let's do the other one. So five inches by seven. There's your other one. And then when it comes to the next one here, this is where it's going to be seven by that three quarters, three quarters of an inch. Yeah. So we're going to go in and cut. So then that gives you all of your layers for the center so that you're good to go on a track, rocking and rolling now. And then what we can do is we can then mat and layer these ones. And then I think what we can do, Ben, is we can take a little bit of a break just in case anyone needed to catch up on yeah. that one there. So I'm just going to go in with my tape runner here. And Before we have a break as well, there have been very many people who were fascinated with the fact that you were able to move the finger guard out of place. On yeah, be your... careful when you do it. Yeah, but it's, um, Alison, I'm um, just asking, particularly, could you show that again on close-up? Of course I could. Um, yeah, I didn't know that that, that actually did that, could. to be honest with you, but we will show you again in just a few moments' time. Handy to know. Yeah, very, very handy. Very, yeah. very handy. I shall um, show you that just shortly. Okay. Yeah, please do be very, very careful if you do do that. Of course, you may, um, maybe, maybe you, you get some of the blade or that gunked up or you've got like a little bit of ink underneath, so it is doable, but you do just need to be careful. But I will show you that. Yep. So there's our two bits. And then there is our middle strip. That can go all the way down. And then we can mat and layer that one on. And then what we can do, Ben, is we can pop this into the middle, and then we shall take that break. Nice one. So that can go into here. I feel like you're a good, uh, a good way into this craft yeah. along. We're, we're, on, we're on time. We're, we're we? on time, yep. We are on time. I'm happy with where we are. I'm going to go in. Now, of course, you know what I'm like. I've measured these so that I have a lovely, crisp, clean white border all the way around. You can adapt the measurements if you want so that, you know, obviously not now, it's a lot more difficult for you to do it right now. But if you do future ones, you can adapt the measurements so that you've got no white light. It's entirely up to you. You know I like to see that white line. So that's all that I am bothered about. And then what we're going to do with this one here, Ben, is we're going to add this one on. Now, before we attach that on here, we want to add 
a little class round uh, okay. because that is going to be really secure underneath. You don't want to have it on the back. You know, you will hide it, but you're still going to see that protrude out from the back. So you want it to be hidden. So all that I'm going to do with this one as well, and this is the way that I like to do it because it's just very, very easy, is just to find that center point. So we know that it's seven and a half inches. So I always think of half a seven is three and a half. So three and uh, three quarters. I've put a little pencil mark. I will always, where possible, anything like that, add tacky glue. Because mm -hmm. of course, you know that's going to be nice, strong, robust. And then all that I'm going to do within this one here, just gauge it ever so slightly. So all that I'm going to do is maybe about an inch worth. I'm just going to press that in, making sure that it's folding so that your mustard is folding in on itself. And let's just press that in, give that a wee moment or two. And then what I'm also going to do is, so that's the way it's going to go in. So on the latch here, I'm just going to reinforce that with a little bit more adhesive. And then we can come in. We can overlay that into position. That's then going to secure it while that tacky glue dries and makes it really strong. What we can then do, rub, build up that heat underneath. And then that is ready just shortly for us to come in start to include these and then do the front. Wow, yeah, we are um, good for time here, aren't we? And hopefully you guys are up to speed with us. Uh, so far, if you are crafting along, any questions, any comments, we are gonna take a, um, a sort of a full break in just a second to give you a chance to get those questions and comments in. Um, I'm loving this project, says Nikoni, and my eyes are stuck to my tablet. Um, watching Hubby said, watch that your jaw doesn't hit the table. Oh. Um, Dawn just saying, I think that the white border finishes, finishes this off nicely. Oh, and Alison was just saying, um, can we just see how you just remove the, um, the guard again oh, yeah. before we go to a break? Let's do just it, In yeah. case it does get, like, I suppose, good to know in case it gets a bit gunked under there, doesn't it? It can do. You might spill something on there. You might get some tacky glue underneath. So what I would say as well, if you are going to do it, you're going to have to open this up. This is where I'm saying, please do be careful. Make sure that it's, you know, it's there, it's sturdy at the top. And then all that you're going to do, I think we'll do it from, George, can we do it from up above? Thank you, that's great. So because you've got kind of like that spring loaded, all that you're going to do is you're going to, while you're securing it, you're just going to lift it up within the middle yeah. and then you're just going to pull it back on itself. Uh, okay. And then you can move it. It is on a little lap at the bottom or class, so you can then just pop that one out. But then once again, what you're going to do, lay it flat, secure it, lay it flat, and you're going to lightly bend up on itself. So, and I tell you what, what we can do from up above, so you can see exactly what I'm doing. All that you're going to do is you're going to bend it up on itself within the middle. And then... <laughs> don't do it do like you... that. Whatever you do, don't do, do it know something. like that. I've done that for years and I have never, ever, ever broken a finger guard. That, well, if, you, if there was ever a time that you were going to break the finger guard, it would have to happen whilst we were doing a live TV show. Uh, mark that one down, George. 2.59. That can go in the blooper reel. <laughs> I have never in all my life ever broke a finger guard when doing that. Well, you know, happens to the best of us, doesn't it? You know that old saying, no point crying over a broken finger guard, is there? Never mind. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> never, never mind. If you are going to uh, oh. remove yours, <laughs> Rachel's just telling on the socials that everyone found that hilarious. <laughs> yeah. You oh. see, you see, we try and do something nice for you. We try and show you how to do these things. Can I just say as well, I've never done it, ever, ever done it, where it's been on its side to yeah. show you from up above. It's always been face on. Oh, my gosh, I can't believe that. I'm roasted now. <laughs> you might want to take your hoodie off. 
Uh, shall we have a short break? Yes. Let's do that. We'll, <laughs> we'll see if we can go and find another guillotine. Uh, Craig's going to go and <laughs> cool down just a bit, and we'll come oh. back. If you've got items in your basket, get them checked out. Uh, but don't forget about all of the uh, National Craft Month deals that we've got for you as well on the website. Uh, and we'll be back with the final part of this <laughs> craft along, as long as he doesn't break anything else. Welcome to Club Inspire, the crafters companion community where you can feed your crafty obsession. Join our fantastic loyalty club today and receive 20% of your first order. We'll also give you 250 points to help get you started. Other benefits of joining Club Inspire include exclusive special offers and discounts for Club Inspire members only, exclusive sneak peek previews of brand new product launches, and of course, the Club Inspire community group on Facebook, where you can access exclusive content such as downloads, offers and inspiration. And of course, you can chat and share your makes with other members. You'll receive one point for every pound, dollar or euro you spend. And the more points you receive, the more benefits you'll unlock. So what are you waiting for? Sign up, join the club and start rewarding yourself today. Welcome to Crafters TV. With more than 35 hours of live shows each week, it's your home for all things craft. We shine the spotlight on new and innovative crafting products with live tutorials and demonstrations. Join our family of craft experts where fun happens every day. Come on, that was really funny, Ben. You did it was better than your I'm a gnome and I live in a caravan. <laughs> I am a no man, I live in a caravan. <laughs> <laughs> Can we yeah, clip that? Yeah. What was it? Everybody's gone surfing, surfing USA. Get creative and craft along. With our amazing deals, your next craft project is just a click away. Tune in live seven days a week, or you can watch us on Catch Up at crafterscompanion.com, Facebook, or our YouTube channels. You can chat to us, craft along, and meet new friends by joining our online crafting community. You entertain us, you give us a community to talk, you know, in the chat. That wouldn't happen without you guys. It's like um, Crafters Companion is magical. There's magic here. There's a show for every type of crafter, from first-time dabblers to full-time makers. Crafters TV, create every day. We get to know people from places and walks of life that we wouldn't come across in our everyday life if it wasn't for um, Crafters TV and doing what we do. I got so many lovely comments from people when I started doing the presenting and it was just really such a lovely um, feeling. And it's nice that people keep messaging in, you know, we see the same, same people and we know you can build up that kind of relationship with those people. So it's just the fact that people like what we do and they're pleased. And I do love it when people send us photographs of the items they've made. We talk about customers, but really, they go in as a customer, come out as a friend. The support that I get is amazing. The messages I get are amazing. Me, personally, it is personal interaction. I've never had the best of health. I've always been open about that uh, with our viewers at Crafters TV. So many people are in the same situation as me health-wise. Other people have got a completely different health issues. They understand and they relate to what I'm going through, what others are going through. So whether we interact on a crafting basis or whether we interact on a health basis, a personal basis, we're all there to support one another. It is incredible. The reaction of viewers when they come to meet us is worth all of the, the early mornings when we have to get up for our early morning shows. Some of the customers come on as craft ambassadors and things like that, craft along with us and being able to actually chat with them on air. I love it, I really love that connection with them. We've had lots of uh, shows where we've done like um, craft alongs especially, where we've had viewers craft along with us. We had a particular viewer, Joy, who joined us once before and she literally made me cry on air and Jo uh, because the things she said about us it really was quite humbling that there are people out there that watch us and and invite us into their living rooms and really treat us like family
Uh, thank you, Philip, who says, looks like that was a cracking demo. <laughs> oh, my word, says Coletta. I wasn't paying attention. I look back and Craig is wrestling the finger guard. What is going on? Well, we were trying to show you because Craig did the little demo earlier on where he removed the finger guard, where he was showing us the, uh, the, the three quarter of an inch uh, increment on the board. So he just removed it. And then a few of you guys went, oh, I didn't know you could remove the finger guard. So then he thought, <laughs> I'll show you how easy it is to do. And then that's when it happened. And Tess says, you only broke it because you were trying to demonstrate it safely mm. and you were probably over cautious with the bend. That is exactly what happened. It was. Um, and Mary says, oopsie, this was the best show ever. Love you, Craig. I was beginning to think you were superhuman. Lol, ha ha, we are laughing with you. Oh, yeah. I, uh, yeah, I, could, I, just, nah, I couldn't believe I've done that. I could not believe I've done that. Never mind. It's, it, it, it's easy to do. I'm sure there's many of you at home who've also done something <laughs> similar. Uh, all right, Christine, I can see her. She's going, she's going. Probably the best thing to do is don't... <laughs> just don't do it. Just don't do it. <laughs> right, uh, let's get back to yes. the uh, craft log because I would say we're about halfway through we or are. halfway, aren't we? Yeah, we are indeed, yeah. yeah. So let's crack on here. So we're going back to the guillotine. And then what we're going to do is I'm going to use those off-cut strips that we had from the A3 cardstock. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take two of them and we're going to cut two to four by six. You might want to get another one. That one's got a big crack in it. Well, funny enough, it does, eh? <laughs> I'm blaming Debbie. Yeah, Debbie. Debbie. Well, Robinson. Either one. Yeah, either or. Yeah, it's um, me and Debbie tomorrow. Me and Debbie tomorrow. Just don't tell her and wait till she gets that out and see what she says. Yeah, let's, yeah, Blame let's it on do me. that. Yeah. <laughs> Is that, oh, I, don't, I don't know who'd done that one. <laughs> I don't know who'd done that. <laughs> so we've got our two pieces here now that are four by six. So what we're then going to do here, let's bring in our envelope that oh, we've yes. already created, okay? So if we go, because we've got our point here. Now, if we go right from corner to corner. So if I use that piece of cardstock, so see how we've got our fold line here, Ben? So we've got our fold line here. Yeah. If we go point to point, so not your score line here, not the score line there, but from point to point, there to there, what we're going to do is we're going to marry that up to the top. Now for me, this was just the easiest way that I could do it. And then all that I'm going to do is I'm going to marry that one up to the top of my cardstock there and there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a little template. I'm just going to draw a little V in there so we can see. What I can then do is take my scissors and I'm going to cut all the way down. I'm going to cut until we get it to that connecting point. Uh -huh. So if I come in to here, and then I'm just going to finish that one off. And then all that I'm going to do is I'm just going to see if it's lined up right, which it is. Lovely. That's perfect. And then what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to use that one to do the same here. So we can go in and then we've got our little V. I was just trying to work out how can I do a matte and layer at that little bit of an awkward angle of the envelope. And I thought, well, let's use the top part of the envelope as a template. So we've got our two pieces now that we've got here and then here. Mm -hmm. So that's going to nicely decorate. Now you can, if you want, later on, also do it so you decorate that part. I like the contrast of a white embossed detail with then that sharp, crisp, clean, flat yeah. teal or duck egg blue, whichever colour you want to call it. So what we can then do is let's take your chosen folder. So once again, I'm using the studded leather, and then if we go in, and then let's take my folder out, and then what I am going to do with this one is let's pop this underneath. I want to try and get it symmetrical, Ben, because I want to kind of have the studs kind of in the same way. Yeah. So let's do something dark so you can see. So all that I'm doing here is I'm just making sure the distance of studs side to side are the same. And I'm also doing it so that we've kind of got the studs along the bottom here. 
And then once you're happy with that, what we can then do is run that one through. So it is a 2D embossing folder, so it's your two cutting plates, but I do like to add my metal shim in. And then that's just going to enhance the little dot. Well, it enhances the full detail, but certainly the little dots, the little studs. And then we can take that one out. And then we've got, I just absolutely love. Yeah, it's a lovely folder, that, that, isn't it? It's a beautiful, beautiful folder. Mm. And then all that I'm going to do is I'm going to do exactly the same again. Just put that there to make it a bit easier for you to see. So all that I'm doing is I'm going to get that so it's symmetrical on each side. And then if I come in, just eyeballing from where that one was. And then once you are happy, you can then close it and then run that one through also. And it will look quite nice if you used a few different folders within this one. And because I'm giving you the measurements as well with the cardstock, you can use any folder. It's not as if you have to use it or this range, any folder whatsoever. In actual fact, you don't even need to use folders. You can then just use your pattern papers or cardstocks if you want. Mm. So let's move that one out of the way. So this is one of the points that you will have that little bit of homework afterwards, and yeah. that is doing the detail of the studs. I'll show you briefly just shortly how I done mine, but then you can do the rest later. And then what we're going to do is let's go back in with that deep cardstock here. And I'm going to create my own little mats and layers, going back in with the guillotine. So let's go in with my card and my tape runner. So I'm going to go in. So this is actually what is technically the deboss side, Ben. Yeah. And I'm going to go all the way around. And then what I'm going to do with this one here, so if we come then and we're going to then, let's take a corner. So I'm going to add that one in. And all that I'm wanting, for me anyway, instead of a full quarter of an inch mat and layer all the way around, I only want a thin layer all the way around. So I match up to a 90 degree corner and then I'm just going to make sure that that is straight, which it is. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to trim a few layers at a time just so that I can get that nice little mat and layer all the way around. So that's how I do my fine layers. If I'm not doing them at quarter of an inch, then I do my little fine layer. Mm -hmm. And then once again, you can go in with your scissors and create that fine layer. But with that contrast, what I'm going to do is I'm not giving the point a mat and layer. I'm just going to cut it direct right up to our embossed detail. And then that will be ready to go into there. Lovely. And then all that I need to do is exactly the same with the other one. And then once we've done that, what we can do is we can pop that one into the middle and then we can then focus on the front. Lovely. I must just say hi to Julie Bisson, who says, I've just stumbled on this programme this morning. I have a great deal of Crafters Companion products. Uh, this will be very helpful as I'm recuperating and will fill my time with card making and crafts. So thank you. Well, Julie, thank you for stumbling upon us and uh, hopefully you'll recuperate quickly and uh, hopefully you enjoy all of the fun and frolics. And we are here every day, Julie. Uh, I don't know where you're watching from, but uh, in the UK, 11 o'clock is our first show in the morning. Two o'clock in the afternoon is our second show. Six o'clock in the evening is our third show and they're um, always two hours long. So plenty of crafting fun for you. Uh, hi to Rhonda, who says, I cut myself with that guillotine on air. And that was embarrassing. And then the next craft along I did, Debbie Fisher said, oh yeah, I remember you. You cut yourself last time with the guillotine. <laughs> Lol. Uh, we all need to be remembered for something, something. I guess. Definitely. Says Rhonda. For sure. But then, yeah, we've got, got to laugh, don't we? Got to laugh. That's it. Wouldn't be the first time I've broken a crafty tool, that's for sure. No? Nope. Definitely not. Although usually it's maybe something like a craft knife or mm. something along those lines. Not something quite like a guillotine. <laughs> Although I say it's broken, it's just the it's finger crack. guard that's got a crack. It's a bit of tape sort of that, wouldn't it? Bit of tape. Bit of tape. Bit of chunky Sticky glue. Tape. Or chunky glue. Chunky yeah. glue. Yeah. So adding my adhesive on the back, and what this also does as well is it hides a lot of these. You might like the look of it, but if you don't, then all that we're going to do is I'm just going to secure that in. Let's come in once again with the folder, and then I'm going to press that 
into place. We can do the same within this one here. We can then add that one on into position, lightly press so it grabs, and then I'm just going to go in with my ruler and press that one. And then what we can do is on the back of these, let's go in and we can add our tape. So in actual fact, I'm going to use my tacky glue for this. So we're just going to go around the edge, get that flowing, so work our way in. By going in with the tacky glue as well, what it's going to, go, going to do is give us that little bit of maneuverability. So add that in all the way around as well. Remember, you don't ever need a lot of our tacky glue. So let's bring this one back in. That will also create additional strength to our actual tab. And then let's press that one into place. We want to make sure we get that all central. And then once it's in, go back in with our ruler. Press that in, make sure it's not moving too much, which we're fine. And then all that we're going to do is bring in our next one. We're going to do that exactly the same with the tacky glue. It enables us to then move it about and line it up. And when you're happy with that one, press that in hold to secure it and then use your ruler or something along those lines yeah. to add that pressure down. And then what you can see if I close that one for now, what we've then got is we've then oh, got this is brilliant, Craig. our notelet that you can see here. This is really excellent. You've got that. So I think what, what we'll do again, if we take a little break, Ben, because we'll, we'll come back and do that bit later, what we'll do is we can then focus on the outside when we come back in a few moments. Excellent stuff. Uh, thank you, Julie, for getting back to us. You're in New Hampshire, uh, apparently, so um, brilliant, brilliant that you found us and lovely to have another member of our crafty family. Uh, let's see how uh, Christine is getting on. Well, in fact, I know how she's getting on because I can see her on my uh, screen in front of me here and she looks very relaxed. You look, you look like you're in the zone, Christine, like you're all up to speed with everything. Thing. Is it good? It's really good. Whoa, look at this. <laughs> oh, Show us again, Christine. Show us again. Well, I was just putting my wax still. Oh, you're, you're like, you're, you're ahead of us. <laughs> well, I had to do the wax still ahead of time. <laughs> uh, well, it's looking absolutely marvelous. Love the, um, the colors that you've chosen there as well. Yeah, this is the vintage diary paper. Yeah. It's Beautiful. Looking. Gorgeous. Absolutely love that. Uh, just whilst we've been talking about them as well, I, I saw you gesticulating when I was talking about Rondo. Have you, have you had any sort of crafty fails when you've been uh, trying to make something? No, but last, last night I was, um, we were videoing with each other and she cut herself you were last to, night. Say that. Wait too. a minute, Christy. Wait a minute, wait a minute. You and Ben were what together last night, may I ask? No, not me. <laughs> When you were videoing together, <laughs> you yeah. something to tell us, you two. Playing Scrabble together, one no. on one, are you, in the no. video? <laughs> oh, sure. Sorry. <laughs> so, sorry, I didn't, what were you saying? You were videoing with Rhonda? Right. Yeah. And what, and what happened? doesn't sound like Ben at all. <laughs> and what happened? Um, and she cut herself on the guillotine. Again? Oh, no. Yes. Ah. Oh. What yeah. is she like? <laughs> Johnny just said, maybe tell yeah. her to put some gloves on next time. <laughs> I, I don't know. Really, uh, you know, blade-proof gloves, probably. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, listen, um, it looks like you're doing a fabulous job. We cannot wait to see your finished project in just a few moments. You, uh, give us a wave when you finish. We'll let you go early. If you... <laughs> <laughs> oh, brilliant. Love Christine. Yeah, then you can go back to play Scrabble because it's your turn anyway, Christine. So, uh, marvellous. I'm winning this game as well. Yes. Pardon? <laughs> what did you say? I'm tired of winning. Oh, yes. All right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> right, uh, we are, I think, uh, all up to speed. No more questions come through, which is uh, blooming marvellous as far as I'm concerned. So it means that you guys who are crafting along uh, are all up to speed as well. Uh, There's a lovely comment from Dawn Braddock, which just says, uh, this is so creative, Craig. I'm so glad and grateful that you've done this. And of course, if you aren't crafting along right now, don't forget this show is there for you on Facebook, on there on YouTube as well, so you can always come back to it at a time to suit you. Um, and then you can craft along 
you know, whatever you like. And the other thing to say as well also is that if you are crafting along in this show, do send in the pictures, but if you craft along later, post them up in Please, um, yeah. our groups, you know, the Armour Crafters Companion page. Tag uh, Craig specifically, but uh, me as well, because I always love to see them, because it's great when people tag us, Craig, isn't it? Because then we oh, can gosh, have a yeah. look and pass on our well done. And, absolutely. And done. You know, absolutely. Because it's one of these things as well, when it comes to the craft along for us, because we put so much time into working it out, planning it, getting it together, doing the write-ups, because we know all of us on the team now do the write-ups for you with the product list and that. There's nothing more that we love to see than what you've created. And please don't ever, ever worry about you changing it up. If you change it up, if you add things, if you do different colours, please, please still post it. Mm. It doesn't have to be exactly like ours. The fact that you've taken part, you've taken inspiration, please post it. And uh, oh yeah, as Ben says, we'll love to see what you've done. Excellent stuff. Um, right, I think we are into the home straight, aren't we? We are. Really now. We are indeed, yeah. So what we're going to do now is let's do the, the outsides, you know, the front, back and the side. So we're going to go back to our deep card stock. So I'm using the off cuts that I've got left. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut two pieces to four and a half by six and a half. Now I'm just going to square off my card stock here because it's not quite straight. So four and a half by six and a half is one of them. So what we're going to, oh my gosh, Ben, I've done it again. Oh. That's meant to be your white multi-purpose cardstock. So let's bring it in. Mm -hmm. So four and a half by six and a half. And then four and a half by six and a half that we can see here. Yep. So that's my two pieces. And then we also need one that is six and a half by half an inch. So what I'm going to do, although I've got that and that's more than enough, it's going to be a little bit difficult to get that half inch cut okay. all the way down. So let's go into another piece and let's do what we showed you earlier on. So let's come along. And I want to make sure that my cardstock is at a inch point or Mine is at 11 and a half inches, so that's fine. So what I want to do is let's come down quarter of an inch, let's come down half an inch and cut. So there is my half an inch in width there. And then what we can do is we can then turn that one around and then we can cut that at six and a half. So if I bring this one in, you will see where I am going with that one. And then what we can do with that one, we're going to emboss them just now. So let's go in and emboss. So I'm going to do the front and the back first. Okay. So we're going to open our folder. And then the reason I've gone with that measurement is because that is that perfect size for the folder we are going to get the embossed detail edge to edge. In, in, in with our two plates, including our metal shim. Uh, the metal shim is optional, but I do always find with the 2D embossing folders, it really helps. It kind of, it takes it close to a 3D level, although you've only got a few different raised areas. Mm. Adding that metal shim, it just enhances some of the raised points that little bit more. So then we've got our studded leather. Lovely. Like so. We're going to do exactly the same with this one. So I'm going to go and lay onto the purple because I can see that perfect layer all the way around, which makes me know that I am central. Mm -hmm. That can then go through. And then when it comes to this little piece here, all that we're going to do is we're just going to line it up so that we've got a line of embossed studs that are going to come down the centre. And because if I bring that one in, you'll see exactly what I mean then. Then you've got the studs that run all the uh, way down. Okay. So it's symmetrical again. And it's just these little bit of extra detail. I could have just cut it white and left it, but I thought, you know what, let's go to town. Let's show you, even on the finest of pieces, you can still do your embossing. Yeah. So if I look down this strip here in the middle there, Ben, all that I'm going to do is I'm going to centralize that one all the way down, making yeah. sure that it's straight. 
I can then close it yeah. and then run that one through. You know what, for me as well, this is a great example. And there must be other people out there as well who are, who are like this, where you see something like an embossing folder and you think, well, I've got to use the whole embossing folder course, every yeah. single time I use it. So no. this is a great example, like you're showing, is that you can pick and choose areas, you know, use different size cardstock in there as well. Um, so yeah, great example from that point of view, Craig. I'm loving this. Thank you. I'm glad that you like it. Glad that you like it. So then what we can do is if we bring in our folder here, let's open it up. And we've got our little panel now with our little, and it's harder to see because I'm keeping it all in white, mm -hmm. but then we've got the studs. Look at that, central, all the way down, symmetrical. Line of studs. Yes, line of studs. It's like us and John earlier on. Eh? Yeah, someone just... screenshotted that as well. Did they? Yeah, Stephen. It's oh. up on the... Uh... Is it? <laughs> I'm a uh, crafters page. Awesome. Oh, I can't wait. I'll go and have a look at that. Yeah. I'll show, I've got to, I'll show you at the end of the show. I mean, yeah, do that. Yeah. So then, of course, we can do the mats and layers for these ones. So remember, with these ones here, these were four and a half by six and a half. Okay. So let's go four and three quarters by six and three quarters. That's going to give me my perfect mat and layer that you can see here. Now, what I'm also going to do, have I got enough on this one so i've just got enough here so when it comes to this one what we're going to do of course is we're going to go in and we're going to cut that one to six and three quarters and now this does need to be three quarter of an inch i've not actually got any more of this color cardstock left so okay. i am just going to go in and work my way up to that three quarter of an inch and cut so that then gives me my mat and layer that you can see here. And then, of course, you're going to do the same for the other one. However, I don't have any cardstock left because I've ran out because I cut that to the wrong size. Because uh, as you okay. can see, that's too small. So you're going to do two of these ones at four and three quarters by six and three quarters. I'm not going to attach my back panel just yet because I'll finish that off later on. But what we can then do is let's bring these ones in. So we're going to add these on. So let's use our adhesive pen, our tight tape runner, sorry. And we're going to pop this into place. So let's lay that over the top. And then we're going to come along and we're going to add that strip into the middle. So let's add that one in. And we're going to Get that as straight as I can. Of course, if you're using your tacky glue, you'll be able to manipulate that into place. Let's just see, I've not quite held it down long enough, which is great, because I can lift it up. Move that into place, press that in, and then, of course, you'll do the same with that back panel too. Yeah. Then all we need to do is let's bring this one back in. So we've already got the center good to go. And then I'm just going to set that in the front just now. We're going to add our adhesive all the way around. So a lot of mats and layers when it comes to this one. Sometimes at first you think, oh, there's a lot to it. And yes, there is, but a lot of it is down to mats and layers. So we're then going to go in with our middle panel that we can see here. That can then also go into that center all the way down, move that into position, and then I'm just going to press that, hold that, and then what I am going to do, just for the sake of this, I'm just going to put a few dots for now, so I don't lose it. You, of course, will have yours on your mat and layer. Let's press that one in. So what we can then do now is you can see how that's all starting to come together. It's all coming together. I'm going to take, wait a minute now, I'm going to move that out of the way, and I'm going to take the Just To Say die. Okay. So this is the one that I've chosen to use. You can use whichever one you like, as uh, we keep saying, whatever one you think would work really well. I just thought with this one, Ben, because it was like a notelet to, just to say, I thought it worked well to just to say on the front of it. Absolutely. Go figure. Go figure. I was just thinking as well with those pockets, like I know you're putting envelopes in them, but big enough to maybe sneak in some little 
chocky bars and stuff, wouldn't they be, for like a, a gift, yeah, maybe? Absolutely, Mother's yeah. Mother's Day on the way, mm -hmm. potentially. You, you could know. do. You absolutely could do, for sure, yeah. No problem at all. So now that I've got that one there, what I'm then going to do is I'm then going to take my guillotine because we we'll want to then cut our sentiment because that's going to go down the side. So we're going to take some of, typical, I've got dark teal left. And we're going to cut that six, oh, just. So you're going to take a strip of your teal cardstock. Okay. Six and a half inches. And then we're going to then do that at two inches. That we can see just here. And then what we're also going to do is we're going to take a piece of white multi-purpose cardstock. So our white multi-purpose cardstock is six and a half by one and three quarters. So if I bring them ones in, you'll see we've got our matting layer, but I've not got a matting layer at the oh, left yeah. and the right, I've yeah. just got it so it ends and that's where it's going to flow in with that front panel. So then what we can also do is let's take another piece of that mustard. So we've got that mustard cardstock here and then for that one, because we've then got our strip here, which is two inches, that's going to be two and a quarter by six and a half as Where well. Where's that mustard cardstock from again, did you say? So it's that one, it is from our Everyday Delights. Ah, oh, right, so I really love solid. the colour of it. It's really nice, it's isn't it? really gorgeous colour. Really, really nice. Mm. So by the time that you have cut those layers, yeah. you can see that's how it's going to look. So let's take that one there. So let's go over that white cardstock. So that white one was six and a half by one and three quarters. Then your deep cardstock is six and a half by two inches and then six and a half by two and a quarter. Yeah. So they're going to lay on to top of each other and this is the one that we're going to do the die cutting in. So go in with just to say and then what we can do is we're going to take our low tack tape so I'm going to get that as central as I can. I like the chunkiness with this one as well. I like having, it's kind of, yes, that matte and layer banner all the way round, mm. but then what we've got is I've got that chunkiness at the side. Yeah. Works well when you start to attach it to the front of your notelets. So we're going to pop that one on. I just need to get my magnetic sheet. So base cut and plate. I need my plastic shim as well and then our magnetic and then top plate. That would actually fit through the mini. So if you want to do it through the mini, then you can do. Let that one do the cut in before we overlay that one. So that's then going to come out. And then what we would be doing, we might do it if I've got time at the end, is paper piece oh, lovely. back into place. Yeah. But I'll leave that to the end so that we can make sure we get all the main components done. So then that just to say, straight away against that deep cardstock, it works an absolute treat. So let's take your tacky glue, maybe you've got your dotty tape runner left, maybe your sprays, whichever one that you've got, and then we're gonna go all the way round. So we're just gonna make sure that we've got all of our sentiment on the back, nicely covered with all of our adhesives. So let's add that one on. This one can then go on and then we're going to go right to the edge, of course, because we've got no mat and layer for the left and the right. And then press that one in. And then we can do the same with this one. Mm -hmm. So if we add that all the way around, and then before we attach it, if you've got any little overhang, all that you need to do is trim that off. Yeah. And I think I'm all right that side. That can go on into place, into here. And then again, any little overhang, we're fine there, and we're fine there. Yeah. And then what I'm going to do with this one, Ben, is if I take that new foam pad bundle from earlier. Oh, yeah. On tonight, isn't it? It is indeed. The cartload. It is. I say new foam pad bundle. It's the same foam pads that have been in it in the past. It's just new packaging, and we've got that little bit more of an easy release on the backs. Press that in, and then we can come in now, and then if we take 
the back's off. You don't have to add height to it, but you're, you've got something that's quite chunky anyway. Oh, it looks nice. So I think it makes mm. that little difference if you come along. And I'm leaving maybe about a quarter of an inch or so at the edge, and then I'm going to pop that on, and then we can see we've got the just to say. So we can press that in. So, so far, all you'd need to do afterwards is add the little pearls in or gems in yeah. and paper piece. We might do some of them if I still have a little bit of time. But what I wanted to do first is I want to go in the wax seal oh, yeah. and then we need to oh, make... make the envelopes. The envelopes. For the inside. Absolutely. All right. So that's what we're going to do first. So I think if we just take a few moments or two, Ben, yeah. uh, for a little recap, I can have a quick tidy. Yeah. And then what we can do is I can get everything ready. I'll show you an envelope. I will show you a card blank and hopefully as well we'll show you because I've got that hook and loop to do yep. and then you'll just have decoration to do. Brilliant. So we'll have about 25 minutes or so left to uh, get all of these bits and pieces together. Uh, Paul, I'm just saying I need to pause so I will do this one later on. Thank you so much, says Paula. And Karen also saying I'm saving this show so I can make this later. Uh, and Ron is just saying, will you show our makes on the next show? Well, I'm not in uh, tomorrow. If you mean the, the next show is in cartload. Uh, Hmm. But, uh, we'll, we'll see how we are, we'll try, but Rhonda, the best thing to do is, is if you um, pop it onto Facebook on our um, I'm a Crafters Companion page, tag me and Craig in them so that we can see. If you do want to send them into the studio as well, if we don't get time today, um, hopefully maybe tomorrow, Craig's on tomorrow, so we might potentially uh, do a little bit of a gallery tomorrow. So either way, send them to us. Uh, studio at craftingscompanion.co.uk or certainly tag us in your pictures when you put them up on Facebook. Uh, Dawn Braddock just saying, such a great idea for Mother's Day gifts. Not long till Mother's Day here in the UK, of course, 19th of March. And Maristel says, I've been making this project, but later since I'm at work, uh, it gives me time to decide which papers an embossing folder to use. I'm thinking that leopard print folder with the masquerade will look sassy. Oh, that will be sassy, won't it? Hey, I'll tell you what. Uh, now, listen, uh, we've got some other goodies on the show for you. Talk about embossing folders folders um, gilding wax always looks beautiful um, on your embossed details so we've got 25% saving across the range here uh, individual pots for you all right so 30 mil pots as you guys know if you bought these previously these last a long long time but 25% off today on the king gold uh, that is seven pounds 19 or ten dollars 19 uh, the antique gold also, same deal on this on saving a quarter. We've got actually four different colours of gold within the range. So if you want perhaps a little bit more of a yellowy, lighter gold, you've got the um, Empire Gold, which is coming up for you here. Uh, again, £7.19 pence or $10.19. Uh, nice to complete the set if you do want to go for them all. We've also got the silver. Uh, that one, uh, we struggle to keep in stock, don't we? But it is uh, available and in stock right now. Uh, again, with that 25% saving, £7.19 or $10.19. Also worth mentioning on the website right now, we are celebrating uh, what is National Craft Month, day two of March. So day two of National Craft Month. Uh, lots of great deals on there. And currently we've got 15% off selective adhesives and tools, 10% off selected embossing folders. 10% uh, off selected dies, uh, and also just ramped up today the three for two on selected card and paper. Just a few of those uh, details across the bottom of your screen. And I know if you wait till the weekend as well, we do have some more deals coming up as far as the uh, Spectrum Noir is concerned uh, with the three for two on uh, single pens. You did ruin that one yesterday, George, but we'll not, we'll not talk about that again. All right. Uh, oh, if you want uh, the embossing folders, the, the only um, downside, I suppose, is if you haven't yet uh, picked this bundle up, we only have one left. Uh, the leaves have now gone. Uh, they've left. The leaves have left. Uh, that's not very funny. Um, <laughs> uh, we've got the leopard print available for you as well. So uh, we do have a little bit of stock of that remaining. £3.19 or $4.00. 76 uh, is the price on that. Um, <laughs> sorry, George is laughing at my joke, which definitely was not very funny. Um, and hello to Marta. He just got in touch saying, hello, I'm back. Uh, I still have to do the outside decorations, uh, but that's not much now. And Terry says, I've sent in a picture to make everybody laugh. Maybe it will make Craig feel better after breaking the guillotine. Can you have a look at what that is, please, guys? Terry sent in a picture uh, to make, a, make us all laugh. So we'll have a look at that uh, in just a few moments time. 
All right, so uh, we're going to make the envelopes now for the inside of our pockets. And if we get time, Craig, you said you're going to do a little bit of the, um, the decoration with the studs as well. Defo, yes. So let's do that. Let's have a look at our envelopes first. So let's take the everyday delight. So this is the eight by eight. And I'm going to go in with one of these. I'm going to use that dotty one for the front of the card blanks in a moment. That's why it is sticking out. Okay. But for the envelope, so it's going to fit a four by six card blank. What we do need to do is we need to chop this one down to seven and a half by seven and a half. So let's go in with our guillotine and then we're just going to chop. It's already eight by eight, so you're only chopping off half an inch at each side. So what we can then do is bring back in our um, envelope box creator. And then what we can do is because this is going to be a flat envelope, we only need to use position one, not number two like we did earlier. So we're going to go into position one and then we're going to score at D. And we're going to do that lightly. And then we're going to do the same on this side. So we're going to flip that one over and then we're going to score at D. And then on these two here, what we're going to do is we're going to go in to position one and we're going to score at H. And then we can do it again into position and score at eight. If I set that out of the way for now, uh -huh. we've got our score lines and all that I need to do is fold them over, following along, and then what we can then do is then start to assemble. So let's give it a nice burnish each way there and then into there. So we just need to fold that one over. And then we need to come along and chop out that little triangle. Now you don't need oh, to worry yeah. about any tabs for this one because it's just a flat envelope. So where your score lines meet, yeah. we're taking out that little triangle. Sometimes it's actually easier to look from the back and then just go uh, cutting away at the score lines. So we're going to go in with them there. And I'm happy with that. Uh -huh. So if we go to close that one in on themselves and fold them in, we need to put our tape here. So I'm going to use my tape runner again for this one. And then I'm going to then just add my tape into position there and then there. And then all that I need to do is fold that in and press, fold that in and press. Now, I know some will tuck that little point in. Yeah. I like to leave them. Oh, OK. You know, I just like to like, I like to have that point, you know, from the top point into that midpoint. Mm. Maybe put a little glue dot or if you do have any envelope gum or something, then of course you could be using that one. What we're then going to do is let's take a piece of our white multi-purpose. I'm just going to use a bit that I've got left over here. And then I'm going to cut that one to one and a half inches, like so. One and a half inches by two and a half. Yep. And then we're going to go in with a dark teal, and then we're going to cut that one to two and three quarters by one and three quarters, like so. That can then mat and layer. Now, although this is a smaller rectangle, you can do it bigger if you want to, although it's not as if you're going to be writing addresses or that on it. You might just be writing someone's name. But then what I can do is add my tape onto there. Let's bring on our envelope. And then you've got somewhere to write the recipient's name Very or nice. any little message. If you yeah. want that bigger, it could be an S and I if you want. That's entirely up to yourself. So that's one of the envelopes. So you're going to do another four after the craft along. That will give you the five. Then what we can do is if we bring in my multi-purpose card stock. So we're going to then take our multi-purpose card, wherever I've got it, which is here. And then, sorry, tell a lie. I'm going to go in with my four by six card blanks. Now, you can, of course, make these ones yourself. Because of the size of these ones, they are six by eight. So if I show you that, we can go uh, six by eight, and then we can then just score at the four inch mark. And there goes 
your 4x6 card blank. I know in the UK it's a lot easier to get all these different card blank sizes than it is for some of you stateside. So now that we've got our 4x6 card blank, what we're then going to do is we're going to take that piece of pattern paper that I had sticking out that you can see here. And for this one, I'm going to cut this one to six by three and three quarters. So let's go in to three and three quarters by six. And then what we can do is if we go back to the solids bin yeah. and use this gray, once again, what we're going to do is we're going to cut at six inches, but we are then going to come along and we're going to cut at four inches, there we go, four inches. That's then going to give me my mat and layer. But once again, it's just a mat and layer on the left and the right, not the top and the bottom, because I think it's more appealing on the eye. So that is simply going to go on top of your card. In actual fact, where, ah, uh, this is where, ah, do you remember before the show, Christine Mahoney gave me a little oh, bit of a heads up? She did, I do mid. remember that. So, there we go. To fit with our four by six card, so I'm actually going to come down that little bit. I'm going to keep it at the six inches in height, but what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to be taking my uh, mat and layer. So I'm going to go in with my grey here. So let's go in with the pattern paper. So we're going to cut this one down a little bit further. I'm actually going to cut it two and three quarters. I'm going to write this on my note so I can change that onto my um, Facebook. Two and three quarters. So two and three quarters by six. And then this time it can be three inches by six. So let's do times three inches. That will then sit onto there. Perfect. That will then sit onto there, which gives me my borders. Yep. Well, let's move that out of the way. Add our tape on. And keeping the car blanks very simple, Ben. You don't have to go to tank. You can if you want to, of course. But I think if you're using it yourself or if you're actually going to be given this as a gift, yeah. it's all about the way that it's presented. Do you know what I mean? You can keep it very, very straightforward when it comes to the design like I have with on this one. So that can then go onto there. And then let's take my favourite die. Let's go in with that hello die here. And when it comes to this one, we're going to then cut that one into the grey. Now, I think I've just got enough of the grey. And let's go in with our mini. Remember, the same as the envelopes. I'm showing you this one. You will, after the show, you will do another four of them. Uh -huh. So that's going to give you five in total. And then, done one in the grey. Let's do one in the white. We've got enough there. I do just a no more. Or, although this could be that deep turquoise if you want. Run that one through. And of course, I can't do something like this without a drop shadow. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go in now with my hellos. Now, I'm going to have it so that the grey is on the front and the white is towards the back. So let's take our grey one. I'm just going to put a little bit of glue. Say a little bit. A little bit's just splurged out there. So I'm going to go in either on your glass mat or I know I'm OK with my hands. That can then sit over the top. Let's move that into position, press that in, and then what we can then do is let's do the same, adding that one on. So that one then, I'm just going to put directly in the middle, but towards the bottom. Very nice. Like so, and then let's press that in. I, really, I think that's a really lovely little card. It's a nice card on its own, isn't it? Really pretty. Yeah, yeah. Really nice on its own. Maybe one little die cut butterfly if you wanted yeah. to, which is up Not to yourself. But then what you've then got is you've then got your four by six envelope. Let's just tug that one in, he says there. Make sure oh my gosh. It's a little bit ben, too big. Go, it, my cut it is just under. <laughs> Uh, just over that six mark. 
That gets that teaches me for um, prepping this in a little bit of advance. <laughs> there, there you go. go. Perfect, You've mate. got your envelope. Make sure that your card is four by six, accurate four by six. So you've got your card. So this is where you're then going to do that one another four times. Yeah. And then that one another three times. So what we then do is bring this one in. So you can put the five of them in there. Yeah. You can put the five of them in there. That's amazing. And then what we need to do is we need to do the seal. So this was the one, we're not going to have time to do it, hence why I'd said uh, you can pre-make it if you want. Yeah. Or you can do what I'd done within Masterclass, and that was just die cut a couple of white circles. So seal kit is that again? Sorry? Which seal kit is that one? Uh, Violet Studio. Oh, OK. Yeah, the Violet, Violet Studio one that that one's from. So what we want to do within these ones here, ideally, where is our hot glue gone? Uh, we should have hot glue somewhere that has disappeared. That would be oh. ideal. But, right, let's do that one towards the end. Let's see if we can find Tracy and see if we can get a hot glue gun. Do you want me to see if there's one that... I, I have seen a hot glue gun. Yeah, it's always here. It's always here and it's ideal for... <laughs> Christine's saying you can borrow hers. Borrow hers. Yeah, just, borrow just hers. bring it over the pond for us, Christine, so we can just borrow it, chuck it. So what we can do is let's do a little bit of decoration here. What you can then do is if you take a hole punch, now, it could be a binder hole punch. Here it comes. It could be... Here she comes to, to save, save the day. Thank you. Thank you very much. There you go. There we go. Let's plug this one in. Just while that heats up, Ben, yep. what we can do, if you take your hole punch or paper punch, I've got a little bit of a hole punch that you can see just here. And then all that I'm going to do is just cut little holes. You might have a crop dial or something like that. So what I'm going to do, I have. What we'll have then <laughs> done. They're just talking about, uh, they do the chicken run. Not, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> that's what I mean. They do the chicken, the run for chicken uh, in the break. And uh, Tracy's been round with the order form to see what's it. Are you having it, Craigie? I am, yeah. What are you having? Um, a four piece kernel. A four piece kernel? Yeah. So, Check oh, Christine in. wants some. What do you want, Christine? We'll get your order in as soon as you're going to lend us your glue gun. I haven't had a, uh, a chicken Ooh. meal from that place in ages, actually. No, I do, yeah, I do like ages. it, yeah. I do like I, it. Do, I, you know what? I'm probably not going to order, but what I'll do is I'll do my usual trick of like hanging around you guys whilst you're eating. Yeah. And you're like, oh, I'm a little bit full. Do you want any then? And then I'll then dive in, you see. Yeah. Like a vulture, like Johnny. Like a vulture. Absolutely right. Christine's shaking her head. What is he like? What's what he like, he indeed? Like? What's it like indeed, absolutely. So yeah, I, I've ordered. Although, it's kind of daft because me and you have got a photo shoot. At quarter past four. Oh, I've got one at four as well. At four? Yeah. Oh, which, yeah. which, which one is your photo shoot for? <laughs> It's the Fifty Shades of Craig, Johnny just said. <laughs> well, maybe I am quarter past four as well. Is that why, is that why he's not brought any other outfits with him? <laughs> oh, dear. New crafty collection, Fifty Shades of Craig. Dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. Um, yeah, because I've got two together. One, one with you. Yeah. Which I'm not saying anything. Top secret, that Top one. Top secret. And then I've also got one. It, this is just every couple of months for the new season. We're getting new pictures taken. Oh, for is it adverts. the spring catalogue? And this is the spring, spring summer catalogue. What have you brought in for that? Because I always struggle when they say, yeah, I struggle yeah. with like three or four different outfits. I don't know if I've got anything that springy. I just cheated and I just brought back in my bright jumpers. Oh, did you? Yeah, yeah, because I thought, well, um, yeah, actually, there's three sets of photos were taken. I don't know if I can say the other oh, one. Oh, the other well. one is, the that's when you've got to be a bit smarter. A bit smarter. Oh, uh, yeah, I know that mm -hmm. one. I, don't actually, I know what that is, but I don't know what that is. No, that I don't sense. know. I'm the same. Yeah. yeah. I know the theme around it, but, but I, don't I don't know, know why, why we're theming exactly it around same as it. me. Yeah. So, yeah, not sure. <laughs> so, all that I've done, again, a hole punch bend or a crop a dial or something like that, I've just punched loads and loads of little circles, and then I've gone in with my tacky glue. And then I'm just adding them in. If you want to do any pickups, you can just dab that into your tacky glue and then pick it up. And I would continue to do that all the way around. 
If we, we're going to come back to that in a minute, just when the hot glue gun has heated up. Then what I've done on mine, many of you may have got, a number of years ago, the craft box, the something white, or wedding white, or something craft box, where you got this tub of all these little perils. So what I'm doing is I'm just having a look for the tiniest ones, although I've used most of them. So let's pick just a few of them up. I'll put them on the card so that you can see. So we're going to go in and then I'm using pearls on the front and then on the inside I've kind of like done the four studs okay. with the circles that I've cut. Do you know we've only got four minutes left? Holy smokes. So okay. I'm just going to go in that. So let's just do a couple to show you so we can do the wax seal. And then that one, Ben, can all go into place. So you've got texture on the front, not only from your die cut sentiment, but also from your, also from your uh, perils that you've got here. So you would carry on. So I've done my front. I yeah. also done the side. I didn't do the back because I think that's pointless if it's sitting. Last thing we just need to do, your hook and loop. So these will always come as an adhesive for them. Yep. So what to do is add some tacky glue onto the back. Make sure positive and negative are together. Press that one into place. We've got these on the web, haven't we? Uh, I think we've got black ones. Oh, black, okay. black or, yeah, black and little white ones. Yeah. And then I'm going to do the same again, Ben. Add that tacky glue on because the adhesive within the hook and loop that is going to give me my instant grab. Yeah. And then that tacky glue, as I've explained in the past with other mats and layers, that's going to then soak into your cardstock. And then all I'm going to do is I'm just going to carefully manipulate that one off like so. That can do the drying on its own. Let's take these two here. Now what you want to make sure is you pop your hot glue just to the base there. So let's go in. To here, typical, no glue sticks. Where's the glue stick? Here we go. We're all, oh, there's, oh, it's fallen out. So let's add that in to there. Little bit of glue. That can then go on top. Perfect. That can be exactly the same. Into here. That can go into place. And now all you need to do is finish the studs in the middle, finish the studs on the front, and make your additional card blanks. That can then lock into there. That can then lock into there. Yes. Like so. That can then fold over. That can lock over. Boom! Boom! There you go. Just to say that was fantastic. Whew! We got there. We certainly we got there. Did, didn't we? Mm hmm absolutely brilliant with uh, a minute 40 to spare uh, terry we've got your picture which we'll um have a look at in just a second I'm just waiting for christine to finish i think christine's done actually ish uh she's just glue gunning maybe we'll have a look at that picture before we go over to christine um so uh, this is from terry says i sent in a picture to make everybody laugh maybe it will make craig feel better after breaking the guillotine so she bought a knitting machine all right and this is her first attempt Put it in a hat. Look at that. I oh, love it. Look, look, even the dog was laughing. That's Bailey, isn't it, Terry? Oh, I mean, that look. is a hat, isn't it? It's a hat and a half. That is a, a hat and a half. Look at the dog's face. Oh, I love the dog's face. Bailey's absolutely like, what are you wearing on your head? Um, well, fantastic. I love that so much. Thank you, Terry, <laughs> for sending that in. Looks cosy anyway. Looks very cosy. Uh, right, let's go then uh, over to uh, Christine, who is just about ready, I think, to reveal her amazing project. Let's give her a drum roll. And then Craig will... Oh, look at oh, this! Wow, look at that! What do you reckon, Craig? I absolutely love that. That's flipping fantastic. Flipping That's fantastic. I, I love know that. Loops are. Say again. I have hook and loops, but I don't know where they are. Uh, oh, look at the inside, Craig. Oh, that, that is. That, that, that one just fell off. <laughs> That's why I was going to have to move it fast. <laughs> that is and absolutely brilliant. I the love cards. that. Oh, Ooh. well done. That is so, so and smart. 
then and then earlier i did this one check that out oh wow you did two that's awesome oh. that is absolutely fantastic i've obviously enjoyed that. doing it i love this so much oh i'm gonna make it ton of these brilliant oh i love that love thank hearing you, that Craig. thank you so much for taking part christine yeah, Craig, thanks for doing this project. I really loved it a lot. Oh, no, you are more than welcome. I'm glad you enjoyed it. I love seeing what you've made as well. So, yeah, it's going to be a pleasure to see whatever it is that you've made at home as well. Glad you enjoyed it. I'll adapt these little instructions, and then I'll reshare it on my Facebook page later on tonight so that if you want to follow afterwards, then you can do that as well. Amazing. Um, yes, yeah, so thank you for putting those directions up there. That really helped a lot. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> my pleasure. My absolute pleasure. Are you with us for any more Craft Along set anytime soon, Christine? Um, not scheduled yet, no. Okay. Well, hopefully we'll see you again very soon. I know we'll, we'll hear from you in the comments because I know you watch this each and every day. But thank you so much. A pleasure as always. Um, and we'll catch thank you again very soon, I'm sure. I'll see you on the Scrabble board. <laughs> All right. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Oh, marvellous guest. I mean, Chrissy obviously loved that project. Oh, that was second brilliant. Already. Yeah, brilliant. Yeah. You know what it is? You know what makes it worthwhile as well is us, you know, because all of us on the team will put the time in, as I said earlier, to do the instructions. So to see you following along with them even before you've done the live and made one, that lets us know that, of course, we can then uh, do that step by step for you to follow at home. Amazing. Craig, a super, super project. We've absolutely loved that. Uh, do make sure if you do um, make the project further down the line, you tag us in your photos, send them into the studio as well if you like. Uh, but that's it from uh, another award-winning show. Uh, we're going to be back in two hours' time uh, for what is going to be a hell of a show. It is the uh, Smackdown... <laughs> uh, cartload, right there. Uh, and there's going to be uh, going to be some amazing deals. See you in two hours. Oh, oh.